Okay, welcome to ED285. This is your orientation video for the La Lima website. Okay, when you log into La Lima, you're going to find yourself at your My Workspace page. And in the upper left hand corner, or just along the top here, you're going to have your tabs of all your courses. The course we're looking at today is ED285. Okay, it's Introduction to Classroom Management. And when you get, you're going to find this introductory page. Okay, on this page, you're going to uh, have your course syllabus and access to this course syllabus here. Okay, you're going to um, be able to contact your instructor. If you click on this, uh, a new page will pop up and you'll have a video introducing yourself. Hello, and welcome yourself. to ED285, Introduction to Classroom Management at Lima Community College's Associate Art. Okay, to navigate back to the introduction page. Navigate back to the introduction page using the left hand side toolbar. All right, you'll notice on this introductory page, you'll also have an interface um, showing you how to use uh, La Lima. All right, and you'll have a nice presentation introducing you to all of the tools that are in the La Lima course. Uh, in this course, we'll be using the introduction tool, we'll be using modules, syllabus, forums assignments, and so on and so forth. If you click on each tab, you'll notice modules. It'll give you a little introduction into what it is. And activities are posted in the modules tool. The modules tool, located in the screen's left vertical menu bar, will probably be your most frequently visited tool. That is because it provides you with an introduction to the topic of the week, activities that you must complete, and details on graded assignments. So again, we're here on the uh, introduction page, all right, and that's the basic information. Uh, you can also link to your modules, which is where much of the course is going to be focused, uh, here at the bottom, and that'll bring you to the modules page. You can also link to the modules page on the left-hand side by clicking the modules tab. All right. So here's the main content on the course. This is where we'll be spending a lot of time. On this page, you'll find this introductory course overview. All right. You will also find um, down at the bottom of the page your course scheduling. And this is an approximation of dates. This is a pacing guide to help you navigate this course in a manageable way. All right. And then most of the information that we have is going to be located in the modules. These are the actual lessons of this course. So let's just take a look at module one. Okay, each module is going to have an introductory video on which you can just click on, and it'll give, give you an overview of the objectives of this particular uh, module. All right. In this first module, we're going to be covering a couple of different topics. First, I would like you to get oriented around the school that you're attending. Okay, so that's just a little sample of that. All right, if we want to navigate back, we're going to go to the uh, modules page on this side. We can click on something, say, module three. Take a look at it again. We see our overview at the top, a couple of inspirational quotes here. We also have our learning objectives for the module. And underneath, you're going to find information. There's going to be an introduction. Click on that introduction and a page, a PDF will pop up and it'll give you some information about this particular module. You may have to adjust your um, display to a different percentage to, to get a nice uh, quality picture. All right, and in this area, <coughs> you'll have the meat of the, of the lesson. This is going to be a lot of the information um, for this particular lesson. All right, and you can navigate through this, and then when you're done, you can certainly just close this, and you're back to the modules page. Um, all right, so there's your located all that all your modules are located here on this modules page. Um, another very important tool is the syllabus tool. Obviously, you'll find here all of your course information. You'll find um, my contact information, where my office is in DA 205A, that's Eva side of campus on the second floor. 
All right, and you'll find our course texts. Um, you'll find information about grades um, and various other things that you're going to find in the syllabus tool. There will also be an orientation video on the website to help you navigate the syllabus. One of the other tools that we're going to be using a lot in this course is the forums tool. And in the forum, this is our class discussions for the week. Each module will have a forum uh, which will allow you an opportunity to connect with other students and share information and ideas and thoughts of what you're thinking about um, that particular module. So we have, as you'll see on the screen, Forum 1, Forum 2, Forum 3, and so on and so forth. You can find all your modules there and have that important conversation with your student, with your fellow students. Um, another tool we'll be using will be, again, on the left-hand side, the assignments tool. And here you're going to find all of the assignments uh, for the course. Um, they'll be nicely organized and uh, by number, and any information that you need to know will be uh, connected to that. So if I click on one, all right, and we go down, notice here's the information of what you need to do for this assignment. There are two parts for this particular assignment. A and B, all right, and you may have an attachment here or something that you may have to uh, click on to bring up a new window with some information. In this particular one, it is an article um, that I'd like you to read and then share your thoughts and ideas with your fellow students, okay? So we are uh, moving on. We have a couple of other tools, support and live meeting, um, which I'm going to leave alone for the moment. And uh, we'll just have a quick look at Gradebook. This is how you can manage your own grades. You can look at your own progress and uh, look at comments that I have posted and see where you stand in the course. All your assignments will be listed here, and it's quite an easy way to, uh, to manage this course. Something else you should be uh, looking out for, if you uh, announcements for this course, which will mainly be done through email, to you, to your hawaii.edu email account, uh, but you can also click on the announcements tool uh, to find that information. All right, uh, one more helpful link will be the edlinks tool. On this edlinks tool, you'll find access to information that other instructors in the AET program, teaching a variety of different courses, um, feel would be important or a kind of uh, enrichment activities or enrichment readings such as newspaper articles or Ed Week or uh, the, the Star Advertiser or other things that as teachers and as professionals we need to be reading and staying informed with. Um, there is an example in the Ed Technology course. Um, there's just a, a, a personal uh, learning network sort of enrichment reading. Um, so that's pretty much all the tools. Remember, okay, we're going to be starting on the introduction page. Um, a lot of good information, obviously your course syllabus, how to contact me if you're having any issues, how to navigate the Laulima site, and then also obviously you can get to modules, which is where probably the most prominent tool you're going to be using in this course. So just one more time quick on modules. Make sure we have all of our modules on the left hand side. You can access all the information throughout the course. You can self pace yourself. Okay. And um, then you have your pacing guide for the weeks of this course for this fall 2010. All right, so that's an overview orientation video to the La Lima site. Again, if you have any issues, we'll just go back to the introduction page. If you have any um, problems navigating the site, just feel free to contact me. All right, at cautery at hawaii.edu. So thank you so much. We're looking forward to having you in this Raw, course. To ED and introduction to class. Stop, man. Again, let me thank you, and I'm looking forward to having you in this course. Uh, please feel free to contact me, and we'll have a great semester. Aloha.